All right, I'm actually, we talked a couple weeks ago right. on the pharmacist I remember. Here. All right, perfect, just making sure. So how are you doing today? You said you could be better? Yeah, I just got this rash, you can see, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, kind of, is it just on your face or? No, it's on my back and my chest a little bit too. Okay, and how long have you had this? About two weeks. Okay, since you've started the allotment? Yeah, I guess so. I started maybe like a month ago. Okay. And I noticed the rash probably two weeks or so. Okay, two weeks after you started it? Yeah. Um, just before we get too into this, has anything changed since I saw you last? Any new medications or? Well, I lost Nibis new. Okay. Um, I stopped taking the Omeprazole. Okay. I guess I replaced that with uh, Tom's. With Tom's? And has that been working for you or? No, it's great, but you know, I, I can manage. You can manage? Okay, for sure. And do you happen to know the dose of your allotment? What dose you're taking? 150. Okay, just once a day? Yeah, in the morning. Okay. All right, sounds good. So tell me a little bit about this rash. Um, is it itchy? Is it painful? It's not painful, it's just a little bit itchy. Okay. Um, have you tried anything for it? No, but I'm thinking maybe you try and practice. Somebody suggested it works well for the acne. I don't know. It might, it might work for this. It kind of looks like acne to me. Okay. Um, so last time, I don't know if you remember, we talked a little bit about the side effects of erlotinib. And I mentioned that one of them is a rash. Yeah. Um, and it's it does typically start a couple weeks after you're starting your therapy, so I'm thinking that's what this is. And... Um, it generally does look similar to acne, but it's not. So oh, okay. that's kind of where we draw the line where you wouldn't try an acne product because lots of them oh, contain right. sort of harsh chemicals that might actually make it worse. Okay. Um, so is it disrupting your daily life or? Yeah, I mean, it looks bad. I don't want to go outside with this, right? Mm -hmm, and I can understand that, especially if it is a bit unfortunate, yeah. Um, other than the rash, are you having any other um, problems with your allotment? Just a little bit, you know, soft stools, not really diarrhea, I guess a little bit. It doesn't bad bother me, though. It doesn't so. bother you at all? Yeah. Okay. Um, when did that start? Mm, probably the same time. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... Um, with this rash, if you're willing to try something, I can prescribe something for you if you would like. Oh yeah, I'm definitely willing to try something. Okay. Um, so what it is, it's a lotion that is compounded, so we make it here in the pharmacy. Okay. It contains two drugs. One of them is clindamycin, an antibiotic, All right. and one of them is hydrocortisone. Sure. So would you be willing to try that? Yeah, of course. Okay, so um, I can tell you a little bit about it. So what you're going to want to do is apply it quite sparingly twice a day. Okay. All right, especially around the face area because it does contain hydrocortisone, which can thin the skin. So it's just really, really important that... How long does it take to thin the skin? Um, it's not that it necessarily will thin your skin. It's just that it's a possibility. Okay. Do you think if I apply more, it might be more effective? Um, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not really kind of how that works, but... Oh, okay. Applying more and more, you're not going to see more benefit. You might actually wind up like irritating the skin, and it might actually make it look worse. If that's something that you're oh, really worried about, yeah. I mean, if it's going to make it worse, then... mm -hmm. yeah. So, like I said, just apply quite sparingly, and you're going to do it twice a day. Okay. And you're just going to keep doing it as long as you see the rash. Once the rash is gone, you can stop using it. Now how long does it take? Um, probably about a couple of weeks. It should clear up. Okay. And if it doesn't. Yep. Don't be discouraged. There are other things we can add on to this and do to help you for that. Yeah. Um, I know last time we talked a little bit about, I guess, non-drug things you could do for the rash. Um, like taking sort of cool showers, not using really hot water. Um, are you applying any lotion to it? No. Nope. No, I would suggest um, perhaps getting like a really good yeah, moisturizer. Nothing, no products that contain alcohol if you can avoid it. All right. Just because that will dry out the skin okay. and make it more itchy and sort of more red. Do you have like a suggestion? Um, even like something like a vino that's really kind of moisturizing but very All right. sort of like neutral on the skin, I guess you could say. Um, 
Yeah. Um, do you are you outside much or? No, I saw a rush on it. No. Okay. Well, if you do find yourself, not that there's a lot of sun left right now, but outside, a good sunscreen, at least I would say at least SPF 25, oh, okay. would be yeah. make sure you sure. apply that. Yeah. All right. Um, do you have any other questions for me? No. If the cream's gonna help me, then I'm fine with that. Okay, and like I said, it should help, but don't be discouraged if it doesn't. There's lots of things that we can try for you. We're not just going to leave you with this and tell you to carry on. Yeah, sure. All right, so I can write the prescription for you. Um, was there any other questions you had for me? No, I remember my doctor saying that the rash is a good sign. Is that true? It does. It typically means that the drug's in your body, it's working in your body, so it's a sign that your body's responding to the drug, which is what we want. Right. This is kind of an unfortunate consequence, but it is showing us that there is something happening within your body, so it should be working for you. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'll write you this prescription. Like I said, it's a clindamycin and hydrocortisone cream. You'll apply it twice a day until the right, um, sparingly until the rash is gone. Um, if within a couple weeks you don't feel any relief, it's still itchy, it's still really red, feel free to come back, and like I said, there's other things that we can do for you. All right. Okay? Well, you explain that. Okay, thank you. Can you stop that?